and to um, conclude. To know the unknown is really all that is apparently known accumulates all this knowing, all this unbelievable lifespans of knowing or thinking I know or wanting to know or the idea that there is more to know or less to know is really an example of the unknown because that what wants to know it doesn't know that what thinks there's more to know it doesn't know about the more to know so we're always looking from the unknown perspective the unknowing so when we know that we know nothing we know nothing about God we know nothing about what is taking place we know nothing about the what we call identify as the universe we know nothing about what we call nature the seasons these are all apparent knowings because somewhere and within the mind there is a need to know so when the final um, scolding the final telling off because you're told off constantly throughout your life I know this says the child and the teacher says no no you don't know it properly so you're told off by the teacher you're told off by the parents you're told off by your own mind I know I think I know that the, uh, the uh, that that space is darkness and your mind says what are you talking about how do you where, where do you get this information what is your um theory what can you back this up with you know you don't know you're told off no one goes through life knowing a hundred percent about anything so therefore the unknown is what we are now, when the final telling off comes, when you go through this um, wormhole, through this hologram, through this black hole of mishmash, of nonsense, of mind, of um, imagination, of thoughts, of ideas, of what we call bullshit, uh, this is uh, the, in, the human mind is is formed and based from an idea of assumption of guessing of of thinking of of um getting close to um and that's bullshit you know you don't go into the court of law and uh, the judge says what is your name <laughs> my name is um is uh, the universe of consciousness that um, appears to be here and is temporary but behind all this is life that I am uh, the judge says that's bullshit what is your name and you have to give another speculated name well, apparently I was told when I was born that I would be this this um, John Smith well that's your name don't you know your name is it true you see how can we define truth 
in a human way or even in a spiritual way when we don't know? How can we define um, um, the universe and the energies and the, the, the mechanics and the, the molecules and the atoms when we don't know? We have this ego that is determined to push aside everything to know. And when you push aside everything to know, you're going to come up against that what is truly known by itself. And it will say, what are you doing here? I need to know. Who are you that needs to know? Get back. Get back and, and live out the life of the unknown. Don't think you're a person, an I, an individual. Don't think that you're whole. Don't think that you're consciousness. Don't think that you're the universe. Don't think that you're a, a being, a, a, a form. Don't think about anything other than you that you don't know. And you know that you've truly been reminded. You know 100%. That there's nothing to know. Therefore you surrender and you give up the idea. And the only one that I, 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 I don't advocate this one, I don't know anything about this one. I don't know anything about anything. But Yuji Krishnamurti says to his, his um, followers, what is it that you want to tell me? And they say, you know something. And he says, I know nothing. I know nothing about nothing. And they say, you're hiding it from us. What can I hide? What can I hide that I know 100%? Because what I, whatever I say, I know. You're going to question. You're going to interrogate. You're going to play God. We're all playing God when we push each other back to the unknown. It's the best thing you can do is go through life not knowing anything. And that not knowing anything is 100% knowing that I don't know anything. So it is with deep apologies that the speaker has uttered and blurbed many hours of possible knowings, of, of assumption. But we're all the same. We all fall into the same trap. We have the most ultimate experience and we think we can share it. But the experience was not a true experience because the experience is not here happening in this moment right now. It's something that took place. It took place in the moment, but time and space says, no, you can't keep anything that you think is known. You have to let it go. So let all the things that your mind says exist go and just be. Just live, eat, be merry, be happy, be content, be ill, be dying. Just be. And let all information, all knowing, all assumptions, all guesswork about what is taking place in the world, what is taking place in your mind, just disappear as if they are not even troubling the one that has surrendered it, the consciousness that keeps no prisoners, sets no one free, because in consciousness there's nothing to do, just to be. There you go, I finish with a point. Have a great life. Namaste. Om.